Hello Tickies, welcome to Git Tutorials. In the previous session, we learned how to create branches, how to switch between branches, and how to commit code in the branches. Now, in this session, we will learn how to compare branches, how to delete branches in both the you know, local as well as the remote branches, and also we will learn how to rename branches. Let me switch to github.com. Now I'm in the Git project. Let me click on the Git project. If you see over here, I'm having three commits and four branches. Let me go ahead and change the branch first. First of all, what we have to do, we have to compare the branches. So that right now the default one is the master. And you can see over here, there's a lot of, you no. Know, branches has been created you can see December 2019 Feb 2020 November 2020 now let me go ahead and you know select the December 2019 whenever you have selected you will find the request over here you can see compare over here so this is how we are going to compare the branches from the github okay let me click on compare now if you see over here from the base master branch, and I'm going to compare with, no, no, sorry, December 2019, I'm going to compare with the base master branch. And you can see that the differences is March data that we're showing one change file, that is, you know, March data. So the changes is not there because of I just created the text file. Now, if you want to compare with anything, like, you know, if I want to compare from Feb 2020 to base master branch, I'm just, changing the branch over here and then you can see one file change and you can see the data there's the data and change so whenever you are going to compare in the branch you can compare from the you know uh, sub branch or the branch with the base branch as well as if you want to compare two branches except this master branch then what you are going to do you are going to changing the branch from over here you can change it select it and then Actually, I have selected Feb 2020 and comparing the same Feb 2020. There's anything to compare? There's nothing to compare. So that let me go ahead, let me change it one more time. I'm going to give it November 2020. I'm comparing two branches over here. So this is the remote repositories which you are comparing. If you see over here that I'm having Feb data and there's a small change over here. This is the you know Feb data I have given in the text format. This is how you are going to compare in the GitHub. Okay, now how can we compare by using Git Bash? So now I'm already in my desktop. As we know that we are working in Git demo, Git project. Let me go ahead, let me right click on the project, on the location, and then you will find it out Git Bash here. Click on that. Now, first of all, we'll see what are the branches are available. Okay. Let me give the command git branch. If I want to get all the branches, including remote as well as the local branches, just click on git branch hyphen A. If you see over here, these three are my local branches and the remaining all are remote branches, which are, have been shown in the you know, GitHub. These are all the branches that what we have. Okay, if you want to see only local branches, git branch hyphen hyphen list. You can see over here, November 20, December 2020 master, these are all the local branches and you don't find the remote branches over here. I hope now you understand what is the difference for these two commands, git branch hyphen a, git branch hyphen hyphen list. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are finding the differences. First of all, we'll go with the local branches. Okay, so how can we get it? Git diff. So I want to compare two branches. How can we go ahead get diff that I can say, right now we are in the November 2020 branch. Okay, don't worry about that. November 20, and then I'm going to compare with master. Let me click on that. Now if you see, whenever I have given git diff, November 20 and I'm going to compare with the master branch. You can see the differences over here. So as I have shown over here, 
you know march data dot txt march data dot txt i'm having a file over here it is in deleted file mode or whatever it may be the mode that has been given so if you want once again i will compare two different things two different branches git diff november 20 correct this is one branch another one i will give december 2020 and you can see the difference over here i'm having test one file over here so that the difference is this is the one of the difference and you don't have any uh, you know there's a you know this is hello world that we are having the change over here you can see the entire change over here what are the changes that what we had so till now what we have done we have compared only local branches what about the remote branches so can we compare that yes of course get diff so let assume uh, you know let me get back the what are the branches that what we have get branch hyphen a now if you see i'm comparing one local branch and one remote branch how can we go ahead and we do that git diff i'm comparing november 20 with origin slash master this is the remote branch so origin master if you see over here this is the remote branch i'm going to compare these two things now if you see there's no difference because of you know in my local as well as the remote repository i'm having the same thing okay that's the reason you don't find any differences over here but still you can compare two things two branches over here one is remote as well as the local now if you want to compare both the remote repositories yes sir, you can compare both the branches git uh, diff origin slash what we have december 2019 slash sorry origin another branch i'm going to compare with master so these are the both are the remote repositories origin december 2019 origin slash master let me go ahead let me click on that you can see the difference over here i'm having march data the same thing which what we have okay so this is how you are going to compare the local branches as well as the remote branches now I will show you how to delete the branches. Okay, let me go back to my GitHub. Let me go to the branches over here. Let me click on code. And you can see over here, branches. Four branches have been created. You can see over here, which is the default branch. That is, you know, master branch is my default. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete one of the branch okay so what are the branch that are inactive you can see in number 2020 december 2019 feb 2019 okay so you can see the option over here to delete it you can just go ahead and you can delete now what i'm going to do i'm deleting december 2019 let me click on delete delete this branch click on that the branch has been deleted as simple as it is but whenever you're doing with a git bash how can we go ahead and we do that? Let me switch back again. So before going to delete a new branch from my local, I will create one more branch, okay? And then I will delete that branch, okay? So git branch, okay, uh, git branch, what are the name that we can give it? We can give it as, I will just give test 2020. Okay, this is the branch I have created. Let me check out the branch list, git, branch hyphen list and you can see there's a test 2020 branch has been created now i will delete the uh, you know delete the file over there and delete the branch from here so how can we go ahead and do that git branch hyphen d what is the you know branch name test 2020 and click on enter if you see over here deleted branch test 2020 has been deleted this is the local uh, one which we have deleted now i will show you how to delete the remote branches that is remotely created branches how can we delete that now first of all we'll see git branch hyphen a is the you know for the uh, list of the branches which are available I'm using all these commands multiple times. Uh, don't mind for that because of, you know, to make it practice, you know, what are the 
a branches list that what you have in our local as well the remote repository so it is very good practice to find it out each on every time what are the branches that were available in the both locations okay now how can we delete it git push from origin that is nothing but from remote repository hyphen hyphen delete then what is the branch name that we have you can see over here number 20 i'm going to delete it nov 20 and you can see over here the branch has been from number 20 uh, the branch from the remote repository number 20 has deleted now let me go back over here let me check that number 20 branch is here but let me refresh it once again now you can see there is only one branch that is master branch as well as the feb 2020 branch you are having it okay so now we have deleted from the git bash we have deleted the local branches as well as the remote branches okay so this is how we are going to deleting it now how can we rename the branches so if you see over here we don't have the option to rename it from the github but we can rename it from the local repositories how can we go ahead and we can do that there's no option to as of now with my experience you know i don't find any way to rename the branches from the github so what we have to do we have to delete it and then rename it that the branch or else you know what we have to do we have to create a branch let assume if you want to rename this feb 2020 so what we are going to do we are going to create one more branch okay that you know we can say simply uh, you know feb 20 is my 21 i will give it so that what we will uh, rename this branch as feb 2021 and then we'll delete this branch what are the feb 2020 branch either we can delete it but is there any option uh, is there any way that we can do from the git bash yes we'll check it out first how can we do ahead and we can do that so first of all we'll see what are the branches names that are available right now all right the same command git branch i will use hyphen a what are the branches are available you can see feb 2020 feb 2021 uh, these are all the branches which are available because of why it is not showing we have to use pull request that is not happen as of now okay don't worry about that so i want to rename that number 2020 the my local branch first so what is the name that have to be uh, how can i rename from my local so just simply git branch hyphen m so if you are in the same branch and then you know if you want to rename this branch, just simply go ahead and give the name the new name whichever you want to give so i will give i want to give number 20 to number 2020 you can see over here the branch has been modified the branch has been renamed and then it has been checked out so if you want to do another branch which are all which are not in the current branch okay let assume i'm right now i'm in number 2020 that i want to rename the branch of the december 2020 how can i go ahead and do that git branch hyphen m so what is the old name that i'm having december 2020 is my old name that I, I will give it as the new name as December 2021 and click on enter now if you see this has been comment now let me check out the known branches names that you can see previously the branch is 2020 now it has been 2021 okay this is how you are going to renaming it in your local branches but what about the remote branches is it work with the same now let me check it out because of i'll tell you one command over here which it is not you know expected as behavior git push we have to do with the remote right then what we'll do git push origin origin hyphen u so if you want to push this new branch over there into that 
I will give it as November 2020 correct this is the same way how you are going to pushing the code into the remote repositories correct okay I have given some caps yeah it is a case sensitive see over here I'm just giving the November 2020 here on the same command November 2020 but you can see over here this is case sensitive so be careful with that what are the branches names that have been created that it is been created so this is the way how you are going to push it the code but is there any way to renaming it normally we found some I found some command like git push origin okay so the old name that I'm having it as November 2020 correct just now I have given it and now I will give the new name as I want to rename this one correct so I will do that I will say November 2021 if you see over here I'm getting a issue with fail to push this remote repositories okay so it is not allowing to push it with the same thing like old name and the new name how can we go ahead and we do that okay first of all for this thing I'm going to rename you have to do I'm going to renaming the branch from November 2020 to November 2021 so now if you see that renaming in the local has been happened now git push origin so what we have to do origin with the old branch what is the old branch that what we have in the remote repository November 2020 so what will happen by this it will delete that branch over here okay in the remote branch it will delete that and then if you, you can see over here it is going to be deleting so you can also use hyphen hyphen uh, you know sorry git origin that whatever we have to delete git branch that we're having git push origin hyphen hyphen delete to delete the remote repositories correct so the same way you can delete also now also this way you can delete it now what we have to do finally we need to push the branch which we have been renamed git push hyphen uh, origin there's a lot of ways to do that origin hyphen u what is the new name that what we have given over here November 2021 November 2021 this is the new name which we are going to pushing it now before that if you see over here what are the branches that what we have in the github you can see only these things right anyhow we have deleted this branch over here and then I'm going to click on this let me click on I have already clicked on enter and you can see the total push this are all the branches has been created renamed and all these things let me go ahead let me refresh it again you can see over here November 2021 so this is a newly branch this is how you are going to create uh, renaming it a new branch once again let me tell you what are the commands that we have so for the different branches if you want to uh, see the compared two branches then git diff branch one and the branch two you will give it the branch one may be the branches if you want to delete the branches first of all in the local you can go ahead git branch hyphen d and the branch name you can give it or to delete the branch from the local and for the remote repositories git push that the branch name that you are uh, giving uh, that you are giving as origin the remote is origin hyphen hyphen delete and you can give the branch name if you want to rename the branches git branch hyphen m for the local branch if you are in the same branch then you will just give the name of the new name to renaming it if you want to rename the other branches git branch hyphen m old branch name and the new branch name that we will give it whereas in the remote repositories git push origin that this command you know we have seen that one it is not giving the output as expected and that we have seen the different way to renaming it I hope you understand how to compare the branches rename the branches and delete the branches thank you for watching git tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section stay connected with us by subscribing our channel
I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.